Balls or grain cards offer safety and convenience when it comes to controlling the grain cart. This is done using a joystick to control the augers and steering axle. The joystick comes with a mounting bracket and enough cable allowing you to place it anywhere in your tractor where it is most convenient for you. The joystick controls all functions of the grain cart. Rocker switches on the base control the steering axle and extending or retracting the auger. The joystick itself controls the discharge spout. The trigger controls the clutch for driving the augers, and the push buttons on the joystick open or close the doors covering the horizontal auger inside the grain cart. Our grain carts come with a steerable axle. This makes pulling the cart forward easier and with greater control. However, when backing up, it is required for the steering axle wheels to be locked straight and in line with the wheels of the straight axle. To lock the steering axle for backing up the grain cart, press the switch to the left of the joystick backward. This will automatically straighten the wheels of the steering axle. A red LED will light indicating the steering axle is locked straight. To release the straight steer lock, press the switch back to the center position. It will stay in this position and the LED will turn off. Pushing the switch forward will straighten and lock the steering axle for as long as the switch is held in this position. Controlling the vertical auger is just as easy. Use the switch to the right of the joystick to extend or retract the auger. Press and hold the switch forward to extend the auger. If the vertical auger does not move when the switch is pressed, check to see if the clutch light on the joystick is lit. A safety feature of the balls or grain cart has the vertical auger locked when the clutch is engaged. As we said earlier, the joystick itself controls the discharge spout. Moving the joystick left or right will rotate the spout in the same direction. Moving the joystick forward angles the spout away from the auger and moving the joystick backwards angles the spout closer to the auger. Pressing and releasing the trigger engages the grain cart augers. A green light on the joystick shows when the clutch is engaged. It is important to make sure the auger is fully extended before engaging the clutch. With each press of the trigger, the chains driving the augers are automatically given a shot of lubricating oil. Unnecessary repeated pressing of the trigger will result in over-oiling the chains. To disengage the augers, press and release the trigger again. A built-in safety feature prevents the auger from retracting while the clutch is still engaged. The rate at which the grain cart unloads is controlled by the open push button on the joystick. With each press of the button, the doors covering the horizontal auger will open at 20% increments. The lights to the left of the button show how far the doors are open. To close the horizontal auger doors, press the close button. A red light on the joystick will show that the doors are closing. This light will turn off when the doors are fully closed. To retract the auger, press and hold the switch to the rear until the auger is fully retracted. Repositioning the discharge spout is not necessary because it will automatically reposition itself when the auger is retracted. The joystick is standard with all balls or grain carts and provides safe and convenient operation of the grain cart to increase the productivity of your harvest. Mm -hmm.